Welcome back to Castle Class Presents Rule 20. I am your guide, Corey Longnecker. Um, welcome back. This is going to be Episode 4, or Class 4, where we deal with the fun world of APIs, and specifically in this class, uh, the D&D Beyond Importer, so Character Sheet Importer. Um, this is where you need to have a pro... Uh, account subscription, which is a paid subscription in Roll20. Otherwise, none of this is, is really going to work. A um, couple caveats about the D&D Beyond Importer. It only works for character sheets. You cannot uh, bring up one of the monster stat blocks or any NPC stat block uh, and import that. This is, this is only for character sheets so far that I know. So with that, um, yeah, we're going to be spending a lot of time here in the API section. So... Let's get started. So once again, I said we're gonna be dealing with the API scripts. So um, once you go into your game and you come over here to settings and you click API scripts, and you'll see you've got a sandbox down here. Previous shutdown was complete, so it's starting it up. Um, for a lot of what we're going to do, some of them are gonna be found here in the script library, and we'll be able to go and install them through there. For this particular one, there isn't one. So we're gonna be doing a new script from scratch. Uh, you will not need to know how to code anything. This is going to be, um, this is gonna be copy and paste situation. So let's go ahead and start. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go over here to GitHub. I'll give you the link below to get this code. And this is uh, code written by Robin Kuiper, or I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Kuiper. Um, and we're gonna be using this JavaScript code right here, this Beyond Importer JS. So go ahead and copy this first. Highlight it, Control C, right click. Come back here and go to New Script and paste over it there. Go ahead and then click into the main area of that and then go back to here. And you'll see all the code down here. Um, now something that this can happen is if you try to copy and paste this down here, it doesn't always work. You might miss something and that's a problem. So click on raw, control A to select everything, control C to copy everything, come in here and then control V to paste. And that is everything. Um, come down here, you can click uh, save script. And you'll see D &D, or Beyond Importer is now one of the APIs currently loaded, which is right here. Um, something Roll20 will constantly tell you to do uh, when you come into the APIs is make sure you make backups of your games. Uh, I highly suggest that any changes you make can, with especially multiple APIs, there can be conflicts. Um, not all the code works well together sometimes. So I would suggest keeping steady backups of your game so you don't lose anything. So as of now, we've got this in here. Um, and that means we can now import a character should we like to. So we're gonna go back into our game. We're gonna launch the game. We're gonna wait for everything to pop in here. Um, and you'll see it's running right here. First time set up and it gives you the basic commands of, of the, the function itself, of the API. So basically the only one we're gonna be using is is the import um, and it's, it's pretty straightforward and I'll go through the code here in a second. But first, we need to go ahead and get a character, uh, character sheet from D&D Beyond. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's head over to D&D Beyond. Go ahead and load up any character sheet you've got that you want to uh, make make work. Uh, I've got one here, just a level one halfling fighter. And you're gonna go up to the URL, up here at the top, and you're gonna add another slash, and the letters J-S-O-N. And you're gonna hit enter. And you're gonna see a bunch of code flash up, and then go back into this. Again, we're going to go click on the raw data, and we're going to just click copy. We now have basically everything from your character sheet there. Uh, we go back to roll 20, we go into the chat window, and we do an exclamation point beyond 
the word beyond, a space, two dashes, the word import, another space, and then we paste what we just had and we hit enter. And it will tell you down here the import of that character has started. Uh, and because I didn't have any spells there, it's a pretty straightforward and it's level one, there's not a lot there, and it tells you that the character is ready. So if we go up to the journal, we will see our character here. We click on it and we look at the character sheet. It's there. Um, it breaks it all into there uh, and everything's ready to go. If you do have spells, uh, it will take a little bit longer, but it will bring those spells over as well. So really, really straightforward way of getting D&D Beyond character sheets into Roll20. I find it much easier to build your character sheet in Roll or in D&D Beyond. I like the format and I have paid all my subscriptions there. So it's I get more access to stuff than having to pay for it twice there and in Roll20. So I can get a lot more of the subclass features and, and some of the other uh, uh, bonuses you get out of some of the other books like Bolo's Guide to the Monsters or the uh, Sword Coast Adventures Guide, things like that. Um, you get additional benefits um, from new, new races and new classes and stuff like that. So, really easy way. Uh, try it out. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And yeah, we'll get back to you soon. See you next class.